Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is about forgiveness. Man, what a doozy this is because forgiveness is to me a lifelong practice. It is about releasing our past. It's about releasing situations. It's about releasing people. Most importantly, releasing ourselves because in the end, forgiving somebody and forgiving yourself, your past self or your current self or people in your life, whatever situations, it really has nothing to do with the other person, has nothing to do with the situation. It's about releasing whatever you're holding on to in your heart in order to be free. This topic comes up because as I move forward with my business and I'm expanding and I'm growing, I've noticed and been aware of uh, residual resentment from my past and also that current money blocks and ties to success in my life right now are tied to my past, my family, my father, uh, you know, these past situations and other, I'm sure, situations, people, relationships I've had in the past that I still need to let go of and continue to heal and let go of in order to be free. Because again, forgiveness to me, and here's what I've learned as far as understanding how it's worked so far in my life. It doesn't mean that we are excusing people or letting this other person off of the hook, um, you know, and invalidating whatever wrong may or may not have happened in your eyes, their eyes. That doesn't matter. Again, what forgiveness is about, it's about releasing the energy. It's about releasing this person, this situation from your energy, from who you are. Because if you haven't forgiven that person, that situation, currently in your past or forgiven yourself, you're only hurting yourself because they're going about their lives probably not caring or worrying about whatever wrong they may or may not have done, but you're holding on to it. And if you're holding on to it, you're the one that's suffering. So forgiveness is really about not excusing the other person and forgetting and invalidating any trauma that was caused or anything that happened in the past. It's about healing it within yourself and releasing it so that that situation, that pain, that trauma is no longer affecting you as you build your life and go forward into your future. There's a quote from Buddha. Uh, it's more on anger, but it's very um, similar to forgiveness because forgiveness, you know, if we don't forgive, we tend to resent, we tend to hold on, and resentment is just a form of anger. And the quote is, being angry at someone else is like holding on to a hot coal with the intent to throw it. You're the one that gets burned. Because again, they don't give a shit that you're angry at them. You're the one holding on to the coal with the anger. You're the one pissed off. You're the one that's in the pain with your hand burning or your heart hurt. They don't really give a shit. And it really doesn't matter if they care a lot. Because what this is about, to reiterate one more time, it's an opportunity for you to release your past. It's an opportunity for you to release whatever pain and trauma and power that person, that situation is holding on to you that's negatively affecting your life now. So the example that I'll use is a personal one. For me, again, it's about my dad. It's about releasing any resentment and anger I have about what he didn't teach me or how he wasn't there for me or the shitty habits or ways of being that I picked up from him that I certainly didn't want that I have to heal now. He didn't mean to do it. You know, the reality was he was doing the best he could. I, I just picked up a lot of bad habits through osmosis and energetically through, you know, karmic cycles and all this shit that um, it's my responsibility to heal now. It doesn't matter if he meant to or not, or if she meant to or not, or whatever situation in your, your life, in your particular situation, all that shit doesn't matter because regardless of if they meant to or not, or if it happened or didn't happen, whatever you feel about it is how you feel about it right now. And that's all that matters. So we have to learn to forgive that person, that situation, in order to free ourselves. And we also have to learn how to forgive and move on uh, from our past selves. Because this is where a lot of uh, self-sabotage and internal anger can go and, and start to fester in our lives is sometimes we forget to forgive ourselves, that we were doing the best we can, right? You may look back and go, oh man, why'd I let you know her treat me like that? Why'd I let him talk to me like that? Or whatever it is. Or, why did I let myself get taken advantage of? And then you turn the anger inwards and then that's even worse because then you're just beating yourself up. And that anger, that resentment, that negative energy just starts to compound. So as much as it is important to forgive that person and release them in that situation, 
currently are in your past. Again, you must release the anger, the resentments, any pain in your heart that you have uh, with yourself as well. Do not forget to forgive yourself. So how do we actually forgive? Man, it is a challenge or it can be. It is um, a constant process because uh, man, I've done this so many times with myself and what I've learned and you probably have as well being on whatever level of your personal journey of healing and personal development that you're on is this shit always comes in layers and it never goes away and it never stops because there's always another level because I've done so much work on forgiving and releasing the past and forgiving my father and my family for you know uh, for the way they treated me or didn't treat me or the way they were there for me or weren't there for me and all this stuff and it's really just about finding out and becoming aware of what you're still holding on to and then why you're still holding on to it. So how do we kind of do this? Well, I'm a big proponent of journaling because when you dump your thoughts on paper, when you dump your feelings, your heart on paper, you can get the emotion out in a physical way. It's very cathartic to take a pen to a piece of paper and say, oh, I fucking hate you, blah, 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 and, and do it in a safe way, right? Rather than calling them on the phone or talking to them like that face to face, let it all out on paper. So what I recommend, the tangible step you do, is to journal this stuff cathartically, pen to paper, not, don't type it. There's something about releasing the energy from your body and your mind and your heart into the pen, into the paper and getting it all out and you can be as unfiltered and gnarly and ruthless as you want to be because that stuff is hurt it hurts it's it's a lot of sadness it's a lot of grief <clears throat> despair uh resentment frustration whatever emotions come up you have full free uninhibited reign to express yourself however and in any way that you want through the power of your pen if you want to draw pictures draw pictures if you want to write it out write it out but what I recommend you do to give you some structure and to help you along your way to start forgiving is to write out the situation at the top. Say, this is what I'm upset about. This is what I'm angry about. This is what I'm sad about, blah, blah, blah. And this is the person or, you know, but set the intention that my intention is to fully and freely forgive them and fully and freely forgive myself for the entire situation. And the only way that we can do this is by consciously becoming aware of the situation in order to let go. <sighs> Let's take a deep breath. Sounds silly, but right now, you might be triggered and worked up just from thinking about whatever is starting to percolate in your mind as a result of watching a video on forgiveness. So take a moment and ground yourself and literally take a deep breath. And clear your mind and stay present with me as we go forward. And as you do, when you start working on these things, you will become more free in your heart and in your mind and free up that energy that is entangled in that situation so that you can use that energy instead of being angry at them, you can use it to create something for what you want going in the future. So write out that situation. Say, I'm angry about blah blah, I'm sad about blah blah, and it is my intention to fully and freely forgive that person, these people, and myself for everything that happened. And then what I recommend you do, and this may not be comfortable, and it's actually probably not gonna be comfortable, and you know what, healing never is. It really fucking sucks, because you have to kind of go back in a way uh, and look at these things. Sometimes it's not always necessary to go back and like dig into it. You don't always have to do that. It doesn't always have to be this earth shattering, soul shaking thing that you do uh, that's super painful that you know you're not looking forward to. Sometimes you have to though. Um, I've had to in my case, and I'm still exploring other ways to be effective about forgiving. That's why I'm making this video. Uh, it's just a reminder for what I've learned so far as far as my journey of forgiveness and personal development improvement and moving on from my past. So that again, the goal, this is for us, this is for you. This is for no one else but you, so that you can be free and move forward towards what you want. So, write the situation and the feelings, and my intention is to fully and freely forgive that person, these people, and myself for everything. And here's why I'm still so pissed off about it. Blah, 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 here's why I'm so sad about it. Here's why I would like, you know, I have this murderous rage, blah, blah, blah. And then just let the pen go, man. Let your heart go, 
write it all out, get it all out on paper. And then the next thing I would do is approach it with curiosity and say, well, why would they do that? Why would, why would they do that to me? What was their intention? What were they trying to do? And did I deserve that? And then really you just go and you explore wherever your heart, your mind needs to take you. And you've got to trust yourself at this point that your intuition is gonna guide you in the right direction on what you need to express and the clarity that you need to create for yourself in order to get closure on the situation. As you cathartically express everything on paper, you create that clarity for yourself again to get closure and as you get closure and a deeper understanding maybe it shifts your perspective on everything then you can begin to release these things now for me i'll specifically uh share my very personal example of what i actually am going to do later tonight i need to do is you know with my dad man he was um you know and i understand it's judgment he's just a very uh you know, and this is my own anger and resentment coming out, man. It's just a very weak, just a very weak man in my eyes. He was just, you know, got walked all over, um, went through his life just, you know, and still does to this day, just scared, living in fear, sad and alone. Uh, you know, after my mom died, having one girlfriend who you just like would, you know, so desperate for love and attention, you know, so unempowered, such a doormat. It's like he would walk around you know, with a jar just to bottle up her fart so he could sniff because he's so desperate, right? It's like, yeah, it's gross, I know. But that's literally how, that's like literally how sad and pathetic, um, you know, I, I picture it. And it's funny, it's like, even as I say it, you know, I, that's my anger and my resentment coming out. But uh, immediately what comes up also is compassion. Because as I've done this many times before, especially with him, you know, I have to be compassionate and think about, fuck, that must suck to live life like that. And why was he like that? Why, why was he doing that? And then the way that he was and the stuff that I have to heal that I learned through watching him, observing, and then through osmosis, just being around him energetically that I've had to heal in my life, having very similar situations when I was younger, thankfully, and I'm still healing from that shit again, is that, um, you know, it's not like they, people we love or that were close to us ever intended to hurt us. A lot of the time when people hurt us in situations, they're not doing it intentionally. Sometimes they are, and fuck them if they are. And then again, there's the anger and resentment. We get to learn to live with that because even that energy of me saying that right, that right there is an expression of anger held onto that's preventing me and blocking me from being happy in my life in certain ways, right? Because if I have that reaction it's still inside of my heart and my mind to say those words, well, what happens when I run up to another situation or person that triggers that same pain whatever that lesson was that I need to learn that I have not released yet, well, who's to say that I'm just not gonna get triggered even if it's completely unrelated and I like snap on that person or you know screw up a situation or whatever it is because I didn't forgive and let go in my heart of that energy. So if that energy resides in you, this is why we do this, is for us to be free, to free up creative energy, to release the past so that we are free, so that we can move forward without any pain, without any regret, and empowered to go and create what it is that we want in life and create the life that we want. So as far as structure goes, again, just to recap, forgiveness is important because it's not about the other person and it's not invalidating what happened and saying it didn't happen. It's about an opportunity to release yourself this is for you this is for you that's what i want you to understand and i'm talking to myself is that you me i us you are forgiving this other person this situation not for them to excuse them and say it never happened and invalidated it and forget about it and whatever it is for you to let go and be free and have closure on the situation so that that energy of your past is no longer affecting the dreams of your future I'll say that again. This is about you releasing the anger, resentment, sadness, and energy of your past so that you can use that energy to create the life that you want and the dreams that you have for your future. That's what this is about. You're doing this for you. And the structure that we'll give you or that I've you know shared earlier is journal this out. Talk about the situation. And very important, I keep saying this, is set the intention that you want to fully and by expressing all this stuff, the intention is to fully and freely forgive that person, situation, and yourself so that you can be free and go forward. So we write that out and then we just let the pen run. Whether you want to recap the situation or not, 
or bits and pieces, whatever you break down, and then you approach it with curiosity. Why or you know, did they really mean to hurt me? Were they just doing the best they could? Um, what do I need to forgive myself for? Why would I let myself be treated like that? Man, it's crazy even saying that. Another situation um, that I'm thinking right now uh, that I'm sure I still need to work on. Um, and that's a good reminder too is that Again, guys, this is a process, and and I realize that this is going to be a lifelong process because this shit will come up over and over. These are wounds that at times get triggered, and we heal these layers over and over. And the other uh, situation, as I was alluding to earlier, without um, saying it, but the pop in my mind was that the first and only uh, toxic relationship I've ever been into. I have to forget. I've I've understand why she was like that, but what I think I was most upset about. What really um, is just letting, you know, in retrospect, why did I let myself be treated like that? I didn't realize I was being um, so mistreated and manipulated. And I was the one allowing myself to be treated like that. So then that was like, you know, anger against myself, right? Like, oh man, you're a piece of shit. You're a loser. You're weak. You let yourself get treated like that, blah, blah, blah. Whatever that internal dialogue starts to become. So I'm sure I get there's stuff I get to release as far as that goes as well. So forgiveness, guys. It's not easy and it's not fun, but it's a necessary, it's a mandatory part of the healing journey. Now, what's the benefit of doing this? I've said it a million times in this video, man, this is for you. So do this for you, love and respect yourself enough now and know that you deserve now to have the life that you want and that this is a stepping stone on your way to build the life that you want because the only way that we can create a new future is by releasing our past. So if there's something old baggage that's holding on to us or that we're holding on to, we've got to learn to let the bags go so that we can go and get new stuff and be free, right? So you think about an analogy of like an airport. If uh, on your way to your destination, you're walking through the airport, you're going to your terminal, you pick up this bag, you pick up this bag, you pick up this bag, and by the time you get to your terminal, terminal, you you got so many bags you can't even you can't even get to where you need to go. You got to drop some of the baggage off. That's what this is about. That's what forgiveness is about. It's about dropping the baggage. And so this is how we begin to do this. Uh, it's not easy. It's not fun. Emotional work is tough and it's exhausting. It's it's harder than the craziest workout you'll ever do in your life. It really is. Um, because the energy of love and in our hearts is the most powerful energy in in the universe um, and so that's why it's it can be really heavy because it's it's pain it's 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 matters of the heart and matters of the heart are always the heaviest because it's the most powerful energy but think about the benefit of your life what's the incentive think about the benefit that you will have when you release that energy in your heart how much more love, how much more freedom do you have inside of your body at your disposal, again, in order to create what you want. It's invaluable to do. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for listening, for watching. I hope this was valuable for you. Um, if it was, would appreciate it if you like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff, share it with other people. Uh, the goal is to grow the YouTube channel so that we can share these messages with other people and positively impact the lives of others. The best way to do that is push all the buttons so the algorithm likes it. Uh, but I love, appreciate, respect you for watching this. And again, um, I hope it was of value to you because my only intention is to be of service on your healing journey and to help you move along your path so that you can create the life that you want because you deserve it, I deserve it, we all deserve it. Um, and you know, there's people in your life that you really love, man, you're doing this for them too because you become a better person uh, when you're lighter and free, more free of your past. So until next time, thank you for watching.